Hello Rejects, Greg here. Brianna here. From the channel Aaron Graphics. Aaron Graphics. Aaron? Aaron Graphics. Aaron? <laughs> My neighbor downstairs loves to blast music whenever yeah, I film. It's pretty loud. It's very loud. And it, was, like it wasn't here when I got here. It's like going through the floor. <laughs> yeah. A few months ago, this uh, live action fan short film came out. Pokemon A Great Journey. I am interested in seeing this because, uh, you know, I don't keep up, I don't really play Pokemon Go, but I did watch the entire series up until he lost yeah. at the competition. What was yeah. the competition he's fighting to get to? The final four? The, the... Yeah, what city is he trying to get to? Not Viridian City, was it? Shit, this is really embarrassing. I should totally this know this. This is very embarrassing this for you. This is so embarrassing. At the Indigo Plateau. Okay. God damn it. God damn it! <laughs> I should have known. I should just, know these I things. I just replayed Pokemon. I think it was Yellow. Pokemon Yellow, or maybe it was Blue. Like literally six months ago, and I couldn't remember that. Completely well, we're gonna watch this. Whatever this is, hopefully it is as awesome. And I hope you appreciate the background music while we watch Enjoy. this. Enjoy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh no way! Whoa! Hey, that was pretty cool. This is what Pokemon Go should have been. Is this Japan? Get great exercise being a Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> He's like, this is mine. <laughs> Bros. <laughs> Such an epic face off. If they don't twist twist their hat backwards, I'm gonna be really upset. As you should be. Doesn't look like air. No, nope, bummer. What's that Pokemon called again? Hunter. Oh, Charmander! That's so sad in real <laughs> life! <laughs> this is a Oh, it's okay. The 
you. They're, they're sharing like, knowledge right now? They're so chill about <laughs> <laughs> all this stuff they're doing. It's like Ashton Moyo. A little, yeah. They're just gonna cut to them making out. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Same thing, basically. Yeah. They're gonna make out. Feel it, right? <laughs> Whatever. Pussied out. You had your chance, man. <laughs> Great sign of respect. Ooh. Brock, huh? Are we gonna see him? Oh. Maybe it goes while the credits are rolling. Can't stand my little test to train them oh, as my cause. I love Oddish. I thought Misty was a redhead. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> I totally see it. That's the same guy. Pepe Banana. Oh, he was Brock the whole time. What a name. Wait, was that guy we were watching Brock the entire it time? It must have been. But he didn't have these for eyes, so I wasn't sure. Yeah. <laughs> To be continued, there's gonna be another one? I don't know. I don't know, Brianna. That would be great. That was pretty cool. That was super cool. I mean, what I really appreciate about it, like, while the short film is not perfect in every capacity, it's bigger than anything I've ever done. It was cool to just see some of these Pokemon just like brought to life in like okay, a real world. But can we talk about that? Why sure. did Squirtle have like red rings around its eyes? Like it some was like a crack eye, addict. Squirtle. Yeah, some of the <laughs> eyes of some of the Pokemon look a little depressed. I get that they're trying to make it like a realistic animal because all animals have that red ring around their eyes. But I was just like, can they just be a little bit cuter, please? Like, yeah. Like I know this is Pokemon in real life, but still I want them to be the ideal version. That's of, true. Of That's it. true. You know, I was like, Squirtle. Why are you on meth right now? <laughs> See, it works for Venusaur, but I'm like... Depending on the environment of where the shots were of the Pokemon, depending on how the lighting and, and the, just the overall environment blended with where the creatures are, like where Venusaur is in the, in the beginning, like that looked real when I first saw yes, it. Yes, It totally. looked like, holy shit, they really brought it to life. Yeah. Just depending on certain shots where you're like, okay, it looks a little fake, but still, it's it's pretty impressive that they were able totally to, amazing. to still blend it in with the yeah. world pretty pretty seamlessly, you know? Yeah, I completely agree. I wish we we got to hear them talk a little bit, though, you know? Yeah, I would ha I would have but you can understand just... how that would be, like, well, first of all, they, it looks like they're Italian, so, or something like that. And Italians don't talk. Well, it, <laughs> in order for this film to have the international appeal that it had, maybe it's better that it wasn't in English. And this is... That's true. Or that it wasn't sp spoken word. And this is... I saw an Uncharted fan film that was in... I think it was in Dutch that was really, really good. And when I looked down in the comments, all the Americans were like, can you just put it in English, please? Why are you speaking a different language? And I was like, I'm embarrassed to be American yeah. right now. Yeah. I know they're working right now on a live action Pokemon film. It's supposed to be based off of like the okay. detective Pokemon. Yes. Yeah, the Pikachu like, detective. I'm not happy about that. I would much rather see like the Ash Ketchum story brought to life. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I would much rather see that. Like, it's gonna just be a kids movie Pikachu pet detective. Like, why do we need that? Yeah. Movie? Why yeah. do we need that? Will I watch it? Absolutely. But like, will I? be happy about it no i feel like like while the cool thing is like yeah we want to see the pokemon we i still feel that we would need like a human character we could get on board with and i feel like ash is the reason why the series and everything sustained for so long is because ash was a human character we could get on and board not with. only that but he was the right age yeah and exactly he was the age of most of the people playing the game which is why things like harry potter did so well you yeah know, for some reason 11 year olds as characters yeah. just makes a good character. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I mean, this guy kind of looked like, they did kind of look like Ash and Brock a little bit. 
A little bit, yeah. So a lot more facial a hair. A lot more facial. That really threw me <laughs> off. I was like, he's supposed to be 11. They kind of look like Mario right. and Luigi. <laughs> Don't they? <laughs> what, just because they're Italian? They're Italian. Wow. He's taller. Wow. <laughs> wow. He's taller. He's got the mustache. He's got the red hat. You know? I just am wondering. Like, I'm glad we saw all the starters. Obviously stoked about that. But Haunter? Why Haunter? Like, of all Pokemon. I wasn't sure, like, why. Like, was that, like, just one of his favorites? I'm not sure. I'm yeah. not sure. Although, like, Gyarados, I understand, because that's, like, such a huge, epic Pokemon. Like, you should totally do that. You saw Zuba. What, what is with Charmander there? I'm, that's where another moment where I'm like, where's the cute? Can you make him cute, please? Not look like a literal bearded dragon, please? Right? Doesn't he look derpy? Uh, it's just the, the coloration of his eyes look a little off. Like, his right eye looks completely bolded black, and his, his left eye has green. I don't know like if it's weird... that that bothers me, or rather that he just looks like a small bald guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just like, I think that's what bothers me. I do see like, that. I, where I do are his see eyebrows? I don't know. Where's his personality? He kind of looks... Have you ever seen the Super Mario Brothers movie? No. He kind of looks like um, the Super Mario Brothers Koopa. I'll show you. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Is that what? That's the Koopa from the Super Mario Brothers. Ew! <laughs> and that's kind of what I think of when that's I see that. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, still, despite all that, much love to the creators. This was obviously a work of love. And I think that they did a great job. I yeah. think, again, with this fan film, you had the perfect level of nostalgia meets novelty Absolutely. and i really like that i just want for their second trip for their for their continuation yeah. if they if they do um if they do go through with doing a continuation that they do enhance more of the passion behind the characters a little yes. more yes like you don't have to have them talk but they just seem kind They're of like obviously not actors yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and <laughs> they, like where was the this yeah where, where was, was the, the hat the hat and yeah come on it just, they seem so nonchalant during like the training yes. sequences. Just, mm, yes, it's like very mm, casual. Yeah, they're like scientists about sure, it. Sure, <laughs> Yeah. I, I want to see like that passionate youth in them when they're actually doing stuff or like it getting heated. Literally. <laughs> Charmander. <laughs> Charmander like evolved into a Charizard. I was happy about that. I was happy about the like, it's almost like a love letter to Charmander as a starter, which everybody knows Squirtle is the best starter. But I can understand why they went with Charizard. He has much more of a, a cooler three evolutions. So I'm really glad they went with, with that so that we could eventually see the Charizard. Although Blastoise would be a mega cool yeah. evolution. I like the shots when they were like handheld too. They yeah. made, they made it look more real when they were, when the, like the Pokemon were in the shots totally. too. Totally. I thought that was really neat. Yeah, totally. there's some like great stuff in here. I agree. I agree. Aaron Graphics. Aaron. 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 Make sure to subscribe to Aaron, Aaron Graphics. And please make sure to subscribe to Brianna White's gaming channel. So, <laughs> you wanted to say it. Strange, Strange Rebel, Rebel Gaming. Gaming. Make sure to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming, where there's a lot of fun Let's Plays on there. Brianna, what are some Let's Plays you've done recently? Didn't you also do a video about Pokemon Go I recently? did do a video about Pokemon Go. It was a detailed review. I am, a, am of the opinion that Niantic has screwed up so badly that there's no recovery. But my friend Alyssa was doing it with me, and she said that she still plays, and she thinks Niantic is doing a good job. It's a detailed review. You should go check it out. Your friend it's Alyssa. Lots of fun. That's weird. I introduced you and Alyssa, and now I know, she's isn't just that weird? your she's friend just my Alyssa. friend, yeah. She's my friend. I never get invited to the parties anymore. No. It's just a Brianna and Alyssa party. Hey there, if you ever get bored of watching people sat in silence, maybe you should come and check out the We Know Nothing podcast, where we talk too much. If you want to listen to two drunk best friends talking about current events, opinions, and embarrassing stories, be sure to check us out.